Oh! Double invis. Force the battle drill to the rage tower. What? We are back, ladies and gentle clash, with the next matchup here in the TDLF tournament. We got early attacks. We've been watching them a lot lately. Versus Indian Leopard, aka Spotten. And let's see who's gonna win this one. Indian Leopard in with some Queen Charge hybrid for their first attack. Queen for the Town Hall, pretty simple plan. I think we saw somebody else try this against Kuma's base earlier. This is the quarterfinals of the Torneo de la Fuerza tournament. Queen with the Phoenix, making her way in toward the Town Hall. We got the double expo set up here with the Rage Tower, ready to do double damage. Next, Invis. Healers might be in a little bit of trouble, but they're okay. Rage Tower wears off, that's good news, but we're still gonna need another Rage, I think. Baby Dragon to help out another Bloom. Next, Ragey Boy is in. Eagle somehow locks on to the Balloon, and not the Queen. What the? Town Hall, secure. Coolio. Here we go with the hybrid from the right side of the base. Swag City. I think this plan worked in the last match we watched, right? So it should be a, basically a free triple here to start the war. Early heal spell. CC troops going for the queen. Did that rage miss the healers? Ooh, maybe. Maybe. Hybrid splitting up a little bit here. Pops a war and ability catches both groups though. Queen goes down. Phoenix ability brings her back for a couple seconds. Healers are trying to switch over to the Apprentice Warden. Dude, let's go. Last healing spell in the core there. He's got a freeze still to go. King popping ability on the bottom side. Extra Hog Riders out of the Siege Barracks. Yeah, last time the Queen didn't die. This could be a problem. Uses the last freeze spell on the double damage Inferno Tower. Apprentice Warden trying his best to help out. RC goes to ability quick pretty early here. Could get really close. Healer goes down to a Seeking Air Mine. Royal Champion goes down to the Archer Towers. It's all going to come down to these troops on the bottom side. And I don't know if they got enough juice to get through everything on the left side of the base there. Uh oh. Pekka, Apprentice Warden. Grand Warden. Three Wizards. Poison Lizard. Down goes the Apprentice Warden. The Pekka's low. Dude, this is a rip. This is a rip. This should have been a free triple, but I guess he messed up some of the stuff there. Not going to be able to get through it. Well, hold on. Gets through the Royal Champion. Warden, are you really going to beat on a wall right now? Come on, brother. Wizard Tower drops, and he's back to beating on a wall. Nope, never mind. He changes his mind. Going for the scatter shot. Frost might slow it down. Wizards are really beating on another wall, bro. These wizards are acting like the Archer Queen today. Down goes the Grand Warden, and it falls short at 90%. Rip. Hades is it. The first attack for early attacks here in this matchup. Let's see what he's got with the Lalo, with the Lightning Spells, with the Earthquake. With the Golem as well. Okay. Where does he start? Quake, Lightnings. Here we go. Sneaky Goblin on the bottom side of the base. Sure. Barbarian King and more goblins. Siege Barracks. King on the bottom side with the Valkyrie. Headhunter on the King, but that Headhunter dies early, so he sends another one. What is this setup? Siege Barracks. On a Sui Lalo. What the cap? Headhunter is in. Queen and Golem on the left side of the base. Sure. King pops ability. Queen and Golems just doing their thing. Bro, this Siege Barracks got like no value, I swear. Rocket Balloons, Skeleton Spell, Queen trying to make her way to the Town Hall. The Rocket Balloons might take out the Monolith, which would be clutch. But this Barbarian King still alive, which is awkward. He's trying not to use all his Headhunters though. Royal Champion was used over here. She's getting a few buildings. Super Minions out of the Defensive Clan Castle. The Monolith did go down. The Poison Spell is in. Queen gets distracted by the King though. She might not path in for the Town Hall, guys. Oh, she might not go in for the Town Hall at all. Oh, spicy. Town Hall's activated. Pops the Queen ability. 
She's stuck on skeleton traps, wasting her ability shots on the skeleton traps. Does he freeze? Yes. Was it good timing? Yes. Does he have to use the second one? Yes. So awkward. Start the Lalo from the right side of the base. All we got is a free, I mean, a haste and a rage. No freezes. No rages at all. Balloons. Take out the Warden statue. Take out the eagle. This Warden ability has to be so clutch. Both Headhunters going in. Rage Tower on defense. A spell, Warden ability, Rage spell. This is it. All or nothing. More Balloons from the top side. He's already deployed everything. Has to get through the Inferno Tower. Has to get through that Scatter Shot. It's still alive. It's doing double damage. The Expo on air mode. Also doing double damage. The Tornado Trap spinning these Balloons in circles. 80s. Not going to be able to make it work. Rip. Just don't think the Siege Barracks play was there. Was it, man. That was awkward. Big oofing. Down goes the Diggy in the middle. Archer's trying to get some extra percentage points, but it's going to be like an 82%. How much did uh, Indian Leopard get? They got 90%? I think so. And Hades already ended his attack. He got a... Uh, 81%. 9 building lead. Indian Leopard with the second attack here. Early Lava Dog. Battle Blunt. Air Sweeper. Pop open the Blimp. Drop the Invis spell. Alright, alright. Double Clone. Rage. Sure, sure, sure. See how much value we can get here. Got the eagle down. Get the scatter shot. Get the monolith. Get the multi. Come on. Get the multi. Come on. Yes, sir. The multi drops. Okay. Super Barb on the left side of the base. Do a little bit of funneling. The Archer Queen jumps into the dead zone. It's awkward. Super minions, headhunters in the defensive clan castle that we gotta pull on over. Ice Golem. A lot of E Titans. Just two of them, actually. We'll fight these CC troops. Drop the Queen. Uh oh. Drop the Grand Warden. Queen gets hit a little bit. She's okay. She's okay. Ice Golem is in. More Super Barbarians. Baby Dragon on the top side of the base. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Headhunter, Poison Lizard trying to fight the Barbarian King here. That's looking decent. We got the King ability, got the Warden ability to get through the Town Hall. Giga Poison, Giga Bomb. That'll be no big deal at all. There's the King ability. Pop the Warden ability. Clutch. Making our way through the Giga Bomb, through the Giga Poison. Still got a Royal Champion to the boy. No spell support, but a lot of Super Barbarians that we can drop all around the outside of the base here. They get us through the gaming sections. There's the Champion. Rage Tower making things a little bit awkward here. Queen has ability. King went down. Queen goes to ability. Ten more Super Bobs. Headhunters. Come on. We got through the enemy road champion. No big deal. Is it enough? I don't know. Eight more Super Barbs and road champ ability and Ice Golem. I think it'll be enough. Use the Super Barbs on the defenses. Yes, sir. Get rid of those outside defenses. RC ability still intact. Get the multi. Diggy to stun. Let's go. Tornado trap spinning us in circles. Only 24 seconds. Good thing we can ignore the Archer Queen on defense. Just pop that RC ability. Come on. Come on. Boom, 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 boom. It's a three star for Indian Leopard. And look at that. They're going to be able to maintain their lead. Yada is in with his famous bowlers. Okay. And a super foul. Ooh, with an E Titan. Let's go. See what he can do here. Queen on the 12th side of the base. Sure, sure, sure. Take out the gold storage, of course. Warden in to help out as well. Alright, alright. Poison Lizard is in. Sweet. Queen stepping to the right. How are we going to get her in for the town hall? 
Maybe he doesn't want her in for the town hall. I can't tell. But a super valk. A bowler. Normal bowlers. I mean, a yeti on the right side. That's what I meant to say earlier. King over there on the outside of the base, of course. Ice Golem going in to freeze up these expos. Queen goes to ability so early here. Yikes. Bowlers are bouncing. Take out the expo. Everybody else skipping the town hall. There's the next rage. There's the jumping spell. That'll get us back around. Maybe we can sideswipe the town hall here. Maybe not. Still has the battle drill. We're ready to deploy. Drops it on the outside of the base. Pops the warden ability. Super Bowler's still alive. Next rage spell is in. King on the outside. Battle drill starting to cut inside. Is anybody going to go for this town hall? Take out the multi in the core. There is another rage. There is an invis. All right. Skeleton spell to distract the monolith. Some bowlers going back up for the town hall. No way. We freeze the double damage expo. The double damage scatter shot. One bowler ready to take the town hall. The queen goes back up there as well. That's juicy. Still hasn't deployed the royal champion. Queen got the town hall. He's only got one healer left. He already popped queen ability. She does pick up the scatter shot at least. Arcee's in from the bottom. Queen takes the enemy champion. We got an E Titan alive. We got the Royal Champion. We got a Rage Spell and a Head Hunter. Is it enough? I think it might be. It might be enough for Mr. Yada here to pick up the three star. Wizard on the left side of the base there. A Royal Champion, Diggy. Get through the mortar. Head Hunter was sent way too early. But he still gets through the enemy RC. And he could probably swag the rage, my guy. He's gonna use it anyways. Off the RC ability, boom, boom, down go all the defenses. And does he have the time to get through these storages with the royal champion doing cleanup? I think he should. Right? 22, 21, 20, yep, 96%, 97, making his way up for the last three buildings, and he's got it. He's got it. Down goes the gold mine, the elixir storage, and the gamer is game, and it's a three star, and we're still all tied up. Five to five after the second round of attack. Musharraf. In for Indian Leopard. Let's see what he can do here with a little uh, twin hog action. Okay. Queen with healers. On the bottom right side of the base with the king to go in for the multi, maybe? Looks like it. Yeti wizard to help funnel. Sure. Queen to fight the king. We send a headhunter. Perfect. Perfect. Rage the queen and healers as she was getting kind of bamboozled there. The skele these skeleton traps might pull queen inside the wrong compartment. Oh, it do, it, they do. Awkward for his plan. Really awkward. She goes back around and to the right. Wow. Okay, never mind. The plan is planning. Wall break. He had good patience. Eagle locks onto the king. Watch. Queen will go in for the multi. Next rage already on her as the double damage expo locks on. King ability has already popped. So he might. Yeah, he might still get the queen with the Phoenix ability. Couple more wall breakers. Juicy freeze. Okay. Headhunter is not going to do a whole lot there. Well, he gets a couple shots off at least. Phoenix ability helps the king to get the queen. He might get her. Poison spell. Rage spell. Ooh, she's struggling. Those are the freeze. He did get the queen over there with the king. Queen goes in for the scatter shot, takes it out. Nice. Queen picks up the super minions. Go for the expo. And we send the piggies from the left side of the base. Let's go. Invis spell, battle blimp. What the? Pops the warden ability to keep all the super piggies alive. This is wonky pathing, though. Really wonky pathing. Queen goes around the right side. He has her ability. Ooh, there's a rage spell. There's a skeleton spell. More normal hogs from the top side of the base. The town hall drops. Queen still alive and pushing. She gets through an expo. She'll get to the other archer tower. Royal champion warden go back down around the bottom side of the base here. Gonna be able to pick up a few more defenses. Got some extra hog riders. Got the skeleton spell. It's looking great. Indian leopard stay on top, bro. Look at these guys go. They are gaming against early attacks. The golden ticket winners here today. We got the RC ability. We get swag. He's going to swag the freeze spell. He's probably going to use the RC ability. Boom, 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 boom. Help speed up cleanup just a little bit right there. Another triple for them and much more pressure on early attacks. Now, Iroya with some Lalo here. Cool, cool, cool. 
Super Bob's on the right side of the base, sure. Oh! Double invis! Force the battle drill to the rage tower! What? For a blizz? Not a blizz, a drizz? <laughs> this guy's got the drip. A drizz, bro. What do we even call this? No way, it's gonna work. He gets the enemy queen. He gets the inferno tower. He gets the extra expo. He gets the CC pool. Yo! What in the world did we just see? Heroia comes in clutch. That was cool. Queen, E-Titan, able to take out the two Ice Golems here. Couple balloons for the Archer Tower. Dude, we might need a replay on, on what he did there at the beginning after this attack ends. Jeez. Couple Ice Golems to help get through the model yeah. here. We still got a bunch of spells. Heroes are going to get through the Eagle Artillery, maybe make their way inside toward the Sweeper and Inferno Tower and enemy champion. He already took care of the CC troops and then he's just going to have to lolo through the Town Hall. And that's it. And that's it. It's as simple as that. RC's in with the king and the queen. A couple minions doing the funneling, and here we go with the Lalo from the top side. And there's the tornado trap. He gets rid of it early, so he doesn't have to worry about it being behind the town hall. This is looking great for Heroia. Rage Tower on defense, gonna make things a little spicy. Queen not going in for the multi as well. He rages over the town hall. He pops the warn ability. Only one balloon goes for the town hall. There's another two. He'll get it. RC with the invis spell takes out that multi. That's looking great. Did he not have headhunters for the Royal Champion? He has two. He sends them late. Here we go. Haste our balloons. Haste the headhunters. They go for the champion. Ground bow is locked on to the offensive champion. Queen gets a scatter shot on the left, and this base is clapped. What a plan from Heroia. Swags the last invis spell. Doesn't need it. So many balloons alive. Jeez, this man's just going for the thumbnail, and he might have just earned it. What in the world? Mustafa with the next attack for Indian Leopard, and they still have the lead. Even after all that from early attacks, Indian Leopard have been crushing bases. Let's see if they can keep it up. Going with a Skelly Donut for the core with a Quake spell here. Take out the Inferno Towers. He wasn't going for the Eagle. Okay, sure. He's got twin hogs, but first we got to do some Sui Heroes, it looks like. Cool. King on the right side of the base. Sure. Lava Hound Battle Bloom. Sure. Boom. Take the Town Hall. Clutch. King on the right side is going to get wrecked by these Headhunters. He goes with a Freeze. Should pop King ability. Town Hall was secured. Oh my gosh, the traps there. The Rage Tower. Dude, this King gets obliterated. Holy heck. Rip the King. Queen, Apprentice Ward on the lower side of the base. Skeleton spell. It's kind of late. Queen gets targeted by the Eagle, the Monolith. We invis her. We don't invis the Unicorn, though. That's awkward. Queen goes to Ability, takes the Monolith. She's not going to make it all the way to the Eagle like maybe he was anticipating. Or maybe she does. Hold on. Sends the Piggies. Freezes. Sends some Headhunters. Queen still has the Unicorn. Trying to get this Eagle. The Archer Tower locks on. It's a little bit awkward. Does the Warren ability. Queen goes down. Rip. All the piggies go to the right. Apprentice Warren to join the forces with them. We still got the Warren ability. He's being patient with the Warren ability. Pops it there. Road Champion moving along toward the top side of the base. A lot of super hogs moving all over the place. Cool, cool, cool. More piggies on the northern side. Road Champion going for the King with the Poison Lizard, but this fizzles out, bro. This fizzles out like crazy. Indian Leopard with the first big fail. It's going to be low percent. He doesn't have any cleanup for this bottom or left side. Oh, gosh. RC has ability. He can still get a little bit more here. He's got the Diggy. He's got the Warden doing some damage. But this Ground Bow, everything it can reach, he won't be able to get... Get that Archer Tower. Yes, sir. So we'll be able to get above the 70% mark, maybe. The Super Riders do a little bit of damage. Ooh. 
So that's all he gets. 69. <laughs> that's a four star attack. Let's go. Kuma is in for early attacks. He's got some lava balloons. Lava balloons? Lava balloons? Bro, I wish we still had lava balloons. He's going with the early skelly bat donut. Wants the CC, wants the multi. Early attacks finally have a chance here to take the lead. With a triple or even just with some good pursuit, they can get it. Got the multi, got the CC, perfect start. What's next? Barbarian King. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Which way is he gonna walk? Does he go in for the air defense? Or does he keep walking to the right? The queen was deployed late. He might go all the way to the right. Yeah, I don't think that was the plan at all. He dropped that queen heckin' late. A lot of Teslas, a lot of Skelly Traps over here as well. I think King was supposed to go in for the Eagle compartment. Awkward. But if King gets this gold mine, Queen might go for the Eagle compartment, so it might work out after all. Nope, Queen dips out to the right. Awkward. Eagle's gonna stay up. Bro, Champions in on the right side. Already took out the enemy Archer Queen, which is nice. Got a giant over there. Cool. Queen will take out the Rage Tower. She's going to keep walking to the right. What's he going to do about the Eagle now? Hmm. Uh. We're seeing Diggy get the scatter shot. Skeleton spell so the RC can keep on keeping on. He's going to Lala from the top side of the base. All right. All right. Probably going to battle blunt the Town Hall. I don't think he's going to go too, too risky. RC pops ability. She's not pathing toward the monolith. We do have the battle blimp soaring for the town hall. Inside the warren ability. Headhunters taking out that enemy air hero on the left side of the base. Balloons getting into the scatter shot. It's looking decent. Rage over the town hall section. Tornado traps there though. Lava Hound pulling a lot of traps. There's a free spell. Town hall secured. Queen pops ability. Getting all these defenses on the bottom side. Balloons slowly making their way to the monolith. Extra Lava Hound. We got a freeze. We got a haste. We're going to freeze up the multi. I think he should have waited on that last group of balloons till the rage tower wore off case the monolith group rage tower wore off but the balloons are almost all dead i think if he was more patient with that bottom group of balloons this would have been a triple it still might be a triple hold on phoenix warden owl come in clutch down goes the rage tower down goes the Inferno Tower, but if they get stuck on the BK here, he might time fail. The best air defense in the game might strike again. <gasps> 24 seconds. He's got one minion on the lower storage. I wish he had two minions there. One might not be enough. 97%. The Barbarian King slowing them down. This is going to be close. Does he get it? No. You got to be kidding me. Warden switches targets? What the? But he still runs out of time. Three, two, one. 98%. Oh, it's 10 yeah. to 10. But percentage is in favor of early attacks now. Crazy Kev is in with the final attack for Indian Leopard. They're way down on percent now, so they desperately need a three star to end the match. See if he can do it. See if he can do it. He's got the queen charge. He's got the twin hogs. All right. Takes his time. Queen on the northern side of the base there. Sweet. Queen will take the air defense. Fight the Barbarian King. Monolith locks on. Need some spells, dude. Need some spells. Need some spells. Need some spells. You're not paying attention. <gasps> Rip. Even with the freeze of the skelly, she still goes to ability. Crazy Kev, you're crazy, my guy. Down goes the gold storage. He goes back up. Hey, yo. Rage spell. Uh-oh. He missed the healers. Invis just in time. Yikes. Sketchy attack. We will get the Builder Huts. Freezy Boy is in. He's still raised up? Nope, not anymore. Town Hall drops. What next? Just YOLO Twin Hogs, almost as if it's a hybrid attack. Oh, we got the Recallation spell. Let's go. Drop her on the right side of the base. Okay, okay, I can dig it. I can dig it. Kind of wish he would have let her trigger the Rage Tower, though, before recalling. Oh, well. What the? 
Battle Blimp with a Rage, Yeti Bomb. They'll get the Scatter Shot. They'll pull the CC troops. Got a Wall Breaker. Headhunter's going straight for the Queen. She's able to snipe them. I think he completely swagged that Freeze spell. Drop the Poison, dude. Yes, sir. He got the bottom side of the base. This is taking a lot of time, though. It's taking too much time. It's a good wall break. We don't have access to a lot of stuff. He needs to start the hogs. Like, now. Now. Don't you dare wait any longer. Please, brother. Start the hogs. Only a minute on the clock. Uh, what is he waiting for? 52 seconds. He raging the queen again. Bro, start your hogs, please. What is that deployment? He spreads them out, and the warden can't even cover all of them. 35 seconds. This should have been a three star. He's gonna time fail. Pops the warden ability. Headhunter's going for the enemy champion. They get wrecked by the scatter shot. They weren't in the ward ability. One was. Diggy stuns the scatter. RC goes down. 15 seconds on the clock. Bro, if he started the hogs from this side and like 30 seconds earlier than he did, this was clap. This was clap. Ay, ay, ay. Nice try, Crazy Kev. You're crazy to start the hogs that late. It's an 83%. Chihawa Wawa is in. With some baby dragons. With a couple E-Dragons. Yo, what the? Invisible Rage E-Drag Bounce. What the? Battle Blimp. Two Seeking Air Mines. Super Minions. Clone. Rage. Invis. What the? Get both Infernos, please. Think he wants them both. Gets the lower one. Get the other one, get the other one, get the other one. Yas, Queen, he got the other one too. Get the archers. Come on. Hoggers. Okay. That was expensive. Was it worth it? You tell me. Was it worth it? Queen, Warden, E Titan on the left side of the base. Doing their thing. I don't know. Do, do, do. Headhunter is in. Down goes the Archer Queen. Barbarian King on the bottom side of the base. He wants to get Queen all the way to the town hall, I guess. He's got super barbs for the rest of the base. Got a Royal Champion to deploy as well. Cool. Don't know if I like it, though. Freeze the scatter shot. Wall break is looking good. Not convinced Queen Pass, but well, she should pass in like this way. But the Monolith gonna cause some problems here. Pops the Ward ability and she was stepping outside the range of the Monolith anyway. Oh, she's back in somehow. Rip. This is awkward. And he misses the town hall with the freeze. Chihawa wawa. Bro, if he doesn't get this town hall, hold on. That's the last freeze. Dude. Dude. Chihawa? Wawa? Don't throw the match like this. You gotta be kidding me. Tornado Trap? Town Hall? No. No. This was early attacks' match to win. And a one star at the last second and they lose? What? Indian Leopard pick up the victory 12 to 11, 88.4 to 90.8.